A crisp and cool start this morning. The cold front has come and gone and it's now in the Gulf of Mexico, but luckily temperatures have responded very nicely to that front. We're in the 50s and 60s right now. 58 in Tyler, 57 in Longview. It's actually dropped about seven degrees over the last couple of hours in Tyler. It's 58 in Jacksonville, 59 Nacogdoches and slightly warmer where we do have a few more of those lingering clouds across deep east Texas. They are presently in the middle to upper Upper 60s. Now here are the dew points. In addition to it being cool, it's also very dry this morning. Dew point temperatures are nowhere near our regular air temperatures, which means less humidity for us today. That's good and bad news. I'll explain the bad news here in just a second, but there you go. Dew points in the 40s. Anytime I show you the dew point temperature, that's just a measure of moisture in the atmosphere to judge how humid or how much lack of humidity there's going to be in the afternoons. And unfortunately, this is leading to some quick drying of some of the soils and vegetations here in East Texas. So we're starting to see those abnormally dry conditions pop up, especially to the north of I-20 for Wood County and to parts of Hopkins and Rains County right there and also in deep East Texas. But there's also some signs of drying right along the Trinity River here, which has increased our fire potential for areas like Henderson, Anderson, Trinity and Houston counties. Anytime you see these oranges and reds showing up on the map, that is an increased risk of fires and with winds out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour today, that unfortunately is going to increase that fire risk, which is why there is a fire weather watch out for Houston and Trinity County. So again, I highly advised against, you know, any sort of campfires, brush fires, or even trash fires for both Houston and Trinity counties and the law will get you in Henderson County because there's a burn ban in effect and for good reason for that matter. Let's go ahead and talk about future casts with our temperatures. First off, I'm not concerned about rain today. We're just not going to see it. The high pressure is going to move in. As a result, we squash the rain chances today. So comfortably in the 80s. And then look at this tonight. We're talking about 40s, potentially lower 50s for overnight lows. So one of the coolest nights we've seen all season. And we rebound nicely back into the 80s tomorrow. Unfortunately, this trend is here to stay for at least the next little bit. Plenty of sunshine around at least the next three days. And then as we head into the weekend. We still have the sun in the forecast, but we do return to those dreaded 90s that we don't like seeing at this time of year and then trending even warmer on Monday. Unfortunately, Sunday night in the Monday morning that humidity is going to return. We'll see that represented by the cloud cover on Monday. A couple of showers around for your Tuesday with high temperatures back into the 80s under that influence of the cloud cover and deep east Texas. Similar story. Plenty of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the 80s, 90s returns Saturday, Sunday and Monday with a couple of showers around. So I want everybody to be careful, especially in our western counties with that burn ban for Henderson mm -hmm. County yeah. and also that fire weather watch that we have setting up for Trinity and Houston counties as well because you know it's dry. The vegetation has not seen a lot of rain over the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. So we just need to be careful when you know we're getting our brush burned or whatever we're doing there. Right now uh, we actually want to talk a little bit more about that mm -hmm. burn ban because this was on the last official day of summer we had